Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to discuss the overlap save method and this is from the subject called DSP that is digital signal processing. So let's take a question and we will solve that question and by solving that question we will understand what is the, this overlap save method. First of all I will give you a introduction that what it is so overlap save method is an efficient way to evaluate the discrete convolution to do convolution between a very long signal a very long signal that is message signal and a finite impulse response fir filter that is h of n so a very long signal x of n is taken a very small signal h of n is taken so to perform convolution between long and small signal we do this overlap save method So this is the question that we are going to solve today that is to find the y of n of the filter whose impulse response this is the h of n and the input to the filter is x of n which is a very long signal using overlap save method. So let's write the answer for this. First we will write whatever are given to us in this question. So the given things are h of n is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 1 and x of n is equal to 3 and 1. So now here we are going to perform convolution of x of n and h of n using the overlap save method. So now the step starts. In the first step we are going to identify what is n, what is m and what is l. So n is nothing but it is the size of this x of n and m is size of h of n and l is we are going to find out by using a formula. So n is equals to 8 but it is written in a form of 2 to the power of m. So m is equals to 3 but we can automatically see that that h of n is having 3 so m is equals to 3 and l is calculated by a formula n minus m plus 1. So we will get 8 minus 3 plus 1 this is equal to 6 so we got n value m value and l value now let's move on to step 2 in this step 2 we are going to form two signals that is x of n and x2 of n so in this the first signal will have m minus 1 padding padding means we are going to uh, give zero values and uh, the remaining digits will be l that is 6 so m by m minus 1 is equals to 3 minus 1 that is 2 so 0 comma 0 is the padding in this signal and l is equals to 6 from where are we going to take this six digit numbers from this message signal that is 3 comma minus 1 comma 0 comma 1 3 and 2 we got six digits from this message signal now to form the next signal we are going to take two digits from the last signal that is 3 comma 2 and then again we are going to take the remaining digits from this signal so we took six digits in the starting now four are remaining so 0 1 2 and 1 and now again m minus 1 padding that is 2 so two zeros will get here so that's how we form these two signals and these two signals will be convoluted by using this h of n signal and after that we will find out what is our y of n so we will see that step by step how it comes so this is last m minus 1 digits from x1 of n and this is from x of n right and these 6 are from l uh, from x of n and m minus 2 are adding digits now we come to step 3 in step 3 we do nothing but we take what is our h of n h of n is 1 1 and 1 now the step 4 is very important step here we will learn how to do the convolution so let's move on to that step so in step 4 for convolution we are going to follow the matrix method for convolution what is this matrix method so we have given with x of n and h of n right so to find y of n we will do matrix convolution and uh, after that we will find out this 
signal so to form the matrix how can we do that first it follows a formula that is output signal and uh, again this is the message signal of n cross n and this is the impulse of n cross 1 so now we are going to do a convolution between x and h in this so we will do this convolution two times because we have x of n 2 that is x 1 of n and x 2 of n as we calculated those in step 2 right so we will do this convolution y of n for order n cross 1 and this x1 of n is odd order x n cross n and then we have h of n that is of order n cross 1 and here we will write this matrix what is the length of the matrix so here this x1 of n we are going to consider and we will write in this matrix we will write it vertically so starting from 0 0 3 minus 1 0 1 3 and 2 that's what we have it right now how will i fill it until n cross n matrix what we will do is we will shift these digits one by one towards the down like it is forming a chain and when I shift down, the down digit will get up. So, I will write 0, 3, 0, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3 and this 2 will get on the top. Now again, 0, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, this 3 will get on the top and 2 will shift downwards. Again, we will shift 0, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3 and 2. In the same manner, we will fill it until this 0 comes to the last. So, this is 1, 3, 2 and 0, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3, 2, 0, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3, 2 and now 0, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3 and 2 that's all so we have formed x1 of n in the matrix form and we will multiply it with our h of n and the remaining numbers will be padding that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have 8 digits and we had only one uh, sorry three digits in the h of n so we will give the remaining digits as padding so we will multiply these two matrix and we will find out the y1 of n and uh, we will do this again with x2 of n and we will find y2 of n so let's do this multiplication i guess you know this multiplication because it's very simple let's do this together first we can see that the three digits is only having one and the remaining digits will be multiplied with zero so we will multiply this starting digits with 1 and we will add it up. So after multiplying with 1 and adding we will get 2 plus 3 that is 5. And the next 0 plus 0 plus 2 we will get 2. Again 3 plus 0 plus 0 we will get 3. And now minus 1 plus 3 that is 2. Minus 1 plus 3 2. Then 1 plus minus 1 0. Then 3 and 1 4 then 2 plus 3 plus 1 6 so we have got y1 of n of order n cross n we can write it normally as 5 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 2 0 4 and 6 in the same manner we will find out the y2 of n i will not waste the time you can do it by yourself i will write the answers here that is 3 5 5 3 3 4 3 1 so this is your homework try it by yourself and find out the y2 of n and match it is your answer correct or not now in step 5 what we will do is so in step 5 we will calculate y of n and how will we do that from 
y1 of n and y2 of n. So how can we do that? As we got y1 of n is equals to 5, 2, 3, 2, 2, 0, 4 and 6 and we got y2 of n is equals to 3, 5, 5, 3, 3, 4, 3 and 1. So now what we will do is we will remove the starting digits starting n minus 1 digits from these two and we will join the remaining digits minus 1 is equals to 3 minus 1 equal to 2 so 2 2 digits from both of these uh, signals will be removed so y of n will become 3 2 2 0 4 6 and this remaining from y2 of n that is 5 3 3 4 3 1 so this is the answer of this question which we solved using overlap save method right so i hope you have understood it let's do a recap what we did in this question so first we took a question in which we had this long signal and we have a small h of n so we calculated n m and l values yeah, and uh, using this va formula we calculated the l value in step 2 what we did is we calculated two signals x1 of n and x2 of n we did m minus 1 padding and remaining l and in the next signal we took two digits from the last and the remaining from this message signal and then m minus 1 padding and in step 3 i forgot to write this padding 1 comma 1 comma 1 and remaining five digits are padding this is a chofen now what we did is we did matrix method convolution we took x of n and h of n we convoluted in this matrix and uh, we calculated y1 of n in the same manner you have to calculate y2 of n and after that we removed m minus 1 digits from these two signals and we joined it so this is called overlap save method this is how it works so we have successfully convoluted the long signal and a small impulse response so that's how it works and if you have understood everything in this lecture or you may say this explanation then don't forget to click that like button and i know my voice is not that good today i'm really sorry for that and uh, yeah thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you are new you will find these amazing videos more and more in the future Thanks for watching.